Morgan Stanley releases a new forecast showing the U.S. economy may drop as much as 38 percent. The U.S. officially lost 701,000 jobs in March, but in reality, millions vanished. 10 million Americans have filed new claims for unemployment benefits over the past two weeks. Far more extreme than anything we've ever seen, including the worst weeks of the Great Recession. Economist gasps as U.S. jobless claims jump 3,000 percent in three weeks. The figure of 700,000 jobs lost in March only goes to March 12 which was just before a lot of the shutdowns. The actual loss of jobs is closer to 6.6 .6 million for the whole month. Millions of Americans are not getting their paychecks, a lot of bills aren't going to get paid. Due to all the shutdowns that have been imposed nationwide, economic activity has already dropped to levels that we have never seen before in the entire American history. If the economy remains closed through the summer, 15 million American households could stop paying their home loans. Hyperinflation is going to come as quickly as this market crash, in a matter of days. A lot of mortgage companies are going to go belly up as the government is allowing 12 months delinquencies. And this is tied in with municipalities. They must tax, and property taxes are tied with home values. Home values are tied to what is owed to them. And mortgage companies may be ordered to stop recoveries, which stops the secondary market. The secondary market is tied to derivatives and further debt issuance. You see, without investors, you really destroy the housing market. Hence, the whole house of cards, pun intended, comes crashing down. This will result in chaos and a manufactured war. All this in a time when almost all Americans don't have 400 US dollars put by for an emergency. This is not 2008. This is a total worldwide economic collapse. This is an engineered collapse. Virus or no virus, the system was totally fraudulent and would have failed at some point soon anyway. We are going to experience violence and crime on a scale soon we have never seen before from people losing their jobs and going hungry. People who are furious at the government. People who won't be able to get proper medical care will die. You seem to have this, it can't happen here, mentality. Denial is not a river in Egypt. You will only be able to stick your head in the sand for so long. The economy was in a bubble before the virus. The virus just popped it. Anything could have popped it. Bug meat windshield. But the biggest crash has yet to occur, the bond market. We went from market economy to Fed forced economy. The Fed's job since 1987 has been to protect stocks. They have not given up. Loot a store for a few hundred dollars, and you're a criminal, and maybe even dead. Loot a country of a few trillion, and they teach your technique at Wharton. This is what engineered economic collapse looks like. The unemployment rate will be 33% by June 3, 2020. The Great Depression was 25%. This is the big one. We are not in a recession, we are in a depression. You ain't seen nothing yet. This derivatives pit is practically bottomless. The US economy is in huge trouble, making the 2008 crisis a minuscule event. Our economy has blown a head gasket, and they no longer make replacements. This means it ain't gonna run properly ever again. And that is the truth we must face. The trust fund baby and financial engineering crowd living off of financial assets will have to go get real jobs. Plenty of work to do, albeit mostly involves getting your hands dirty, so will be a shock to many. The bailouts today won't make the market go up, it will cause inflation. There are only two ways to get out of sovereign debt, default or hyperinflation. I believe they want hyperinflation. The money in your savings account will be worthless, except to pay the dollar-denominated debt. Your lifetime of work and frugal living is nullified by government money printing. The Trump collapse will be the greatest collapse the world has ever known. And the best is yet to come. This is what an economic collapse looks like, and it is just getting started. The problem is, the consequences of a global meltdown will cost many lives of all ages before this pandemic is over. The cure proposed is worse than the illness itself. If you have not prepared yourself for the worst case scenario, the hour is getting late. Are you awake, aware, and prepared? Get ready for chaos and maybe even civil war. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you.
It seems nobody wants to address the big picture. We are borrowing income from the future. That income is needed to support unfunded liabilities. Up until the virus pandemic, economic growth was supposed to take care of debt growing faster than income. All this borrowing worldwide is eating up future capital needed for growth, for repairs, for dealing with future challenges and government operations. The machinations to cover this are monstrous. The US Treasury borrows from the Fed and pledges that borrowing to backstop the Fed buying financial instruments. That is outright fraud. And the emergency justifies this kind of thing. Politically, yes, perhaps it provides a reason. But what happens when it is not repaid, when Social Security goes insolvent in 2025 and Medicare cannot fund people's medical bills? And pension funds start to reduce outflows? This is all adding up to being hell on earth. Food shortages should start to occur, then the panic ramps up. Looting will spread. The power will stay on as long as the sheep will have money to pay their electric bill. When the power companies start putting families in the dark and allowing their heat and cooling to be shut down, you will see mass hysteria. The power companies are ruthless and have proved that in many situations. Now with many businesses closed down and school facilities, buildings using very little electricity, their income has been greatly reduced, and it will be just a matter of time before they ask for another increase. Local municipalities will see a loss of income because of low sales tax numbers and their budgets will be totally screwed. When the dust settles on this virus, and people get back to work, then the utilities will go up, and the property taxes will explode for most local towns, cities, and counties. I have always said that these folks with twice the square foot houses that they need will come back to bite them in the rear one day as property taxes will double. Could you imagine being on a fixed income, and then all your utilities double, then the annual property tax bill comes, and it has doubled as well. Throw in some inflation and higher fuel costs, as Trump wants to make it profitable for the oil drilling industry. I can understand the need for trying to keep the smaller oil drillers from going out of business, as there are millions that depend on that industry, but to cause the price of a gallon of gas to double on folks right now when they need a break on a cost that can't be avoided, is craziness. Yes, I can see these things all adding up to a recession, and then for some, it will be a depression as their lives are just plain depressing, with very little light at the end of the tunnel. Many families will not be able to weather this storm and keep a roof over their heads. Some will have the alternative to move in with parents and grandparents, but, for some, those options just are not available, and it is tent city or living in a van down by the river. Jean-Claude Junca once spoke the truth, when it becomes serious, you have to lie. And that is all the politicians and banksters do now because it is always serious. You can just imagine some of the discussions at White House and Fed over the last few months. Bets are it's an exact replay of 2008. If you let any one of us fail, it's all over. The financial system and the global economy will collapse. Hence we now have QE to infinity. The Fed's medicine makes the economy sicker. Currency is printed out of thin air with nothing of value backing the note. Money is simply paper and green ink. If the government wanted to, they could give each and every American enough to pull completely out of this mess. $10,000 per adult plus $2,000 a month for six months is a start, anything less is a slap in the face. They can print as much money as they need to for as long as they need to write up until the time that the check will no longer take more than 10 trailing zeros. Trying to fix this economy is like trying to unscramble an egg. Government short-circuiting capitalism. Investors will rush to sell, and there won't be any buyers. Politicians are exploiting the virus to grab power, buy votes, hide blame. The stock market looks like a pyramid scheme. I warned everyone a one-world digital currency was coming, now it's real and being pushed forward in Congress. I hope you're ready for this. The bill establishes a digital dollar, which it defines as a balance expressed as a dollar value consisting of digital ledger entries that are recorded as liabilities in the accounts of any Federal Reserve Bank or, an electronic unit of value, redeemable by an eligible financial institution as determined by the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. Additionally, a digital dollar wallet is identified as a digital wallet or account maintained by a Federal Reserve Bank on behalf of any person that represents holdings in an electronic device or service that is used to store digital dollars that may be tied to digital or physical identity. End story. Do you see what is about to happen? This virus is the event we have known was coming for a while. 
It will be used to usher in a one-world digital currency and, ultimately, a one-world government. I believe they are setting us all up for the NWO. People today are just falling in line with all of the new constitutional violations set forth by local and state governments. Ankle monitors, police authorization to stop, simply because you have an out-of-state license plate, charging church pastors for holding services. They must really like what they see so far. Next will be re-education, indoctrination camps, confiscation of firearms, forced allegiance to the world order, microchipping, and on and on. Our handlers want a 90% population reduction. This virus, a bad cold, is being overblown to destabilize our country and the world. There will absolutely be millions of deaths from a financial collapse Great Depression than this cold virus. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you.